Has the human hand been designed by nature for punching? Hmm, let's find out. Welcome back to Think Tank, everybody. It's John and Hannah, and we've got one of the most bizarre, macabre scientific experiments mm. that I've read about in our time doing uh, Think Tank. And it has to do with uh, a test to see if the human fist and our ability to make a fist in a way that very few uh, animals can, none, I believe, lacking opposable thumbs in most cases, except for the wily dolphin, uh, if it actually makes us better punchers, which would have given us an advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat early on. And so what they did was they basically dissected and strung up a bunch of human arms by wires. So Carrier is the main uh, scientist. Hi. Him and his colleagues purchased nine male cadaver arms and strung them up by tying fishing line to the tendons and anchoring the lines to guitar tuners so that they could tighten uh, the, the, the tension of the cords. Oh my god, this is the worst science. That's why they had it to be dead. Because <laughs> they had to like dig in there. Uh, the researchers proceeded to use the dead arms to throw hundreds of punches at people walking by the lab. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, and slaps at a force detecting dumbbell, all the while carefully measuring the power of impact, like in that famous scene from Rocky IV, but with zombies. And so they found that uh, a buttressed fist, now take a look, that's with the thumb folded and locked across the first two fingers, something that other animals can't do with their monkey paws, uh, but we can do it. It can strike with 55% more force than an unbuttressed fist, right in the butt too, you can punch them really hard, and twice the force of an open-handed slap. Although the slap is far funnier. 55% funnier. Uh, what's more, fists offer greater protection to the delicate bones of the hand and the wrist, which is important because it doesn't matter if you can knock out a jaguar by punching it if you then can never pick up anything again for the rest of your life. Did they try the study then with uh, brass knuckles? That, that would have been an advantage, but few cavemen could afford them. Mm, Electricity but, was so expensive back then. But they could then. afford the nine male cadaver arms. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You need to have those uh, in case you get hungry. Um, now, they say that this is proof positive that there was sort of an evolutionary benefit to being able to buttress your fist in increasingly complex and secure ways so that you'd be able to strike things, but not everybody's buying it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the criticisms said there are many other behaviors that could be marshaled to explain the morphology of human hand bones. You know, like the ability to pick up and use tools and stuff. Yeah, or which right. seems important, but not yeah. as cool as punching someone. Apparently. Yeah. If only you could solve all your technical problems by punching a screw or yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, think about using the first tools like bow and arrow and things like that. You need to be able to make your you hands need to be able to fist. I mean, technically, I guess you could monkey paw it, but it wouldn't be as effective. <laughs> You'd hurt yourself. Uh, and also, we have, uh, there's other people, other people, other monkeys and stuff that can't buttress their fists, but even with their miserable fists, male gorillas and chimps can inflict devastating, even lethal injuries on their rivals, the chief reason that they are now barred from competing in UFC. Mm. That and the biting. Also, the humping. Three main reasons, really. Joe Rogan refused. <laughs> After that first one, he's like, nah, ah, ah. <laughs> now get him off me. Great, now he's gonna beat me up. But, uh, this is interesting, although as they point out, like, people who actually do martial arts know I that- I have monkeys fighting in my head. <laughs> and they're like, God, if I could only buttress, Rawr. Now, people who actually do martial arts know that punching is a fairly ineffective way to damage someone, both because there are better ways to do damage, to concentrate force in a small area, mm -hmm. and you're less likely to injure yourself. I mean, even- like, if you punch someone in the chest, that's good, fine. But if you're striking someone in the face, a palm heel strike can actually do more damage. Because you can put more of your weight behind it in some ways. Class yeah. Once. And you'll, you're less likely to hurt your fingers knee, that way. Knee, but also, nails. one of the reasons that a martial arts like Muay Thai use the knees and the elbows so much is that an elbow strike can concentrate the force of the body on a very small point, mm. which is also very sharp. It's like using something like a knife. If you strike someone in the face with that, you have less range, but you do more damage. Better way to hurt people, use the knife. Or use a knife, <laughs> which you're gonna want to buttress with your thumb, because a monkey holding a knife is just silly. Give me yeah. that knife back, monkey. I mean, monkey. this is just like one of those really. I mean, it's it's interesting, and if if we did biologically evolve to be able to punch, which kind of seems odd, because like you mentioned, there are a lot more effective ways club. to injure something into. I mean, using tools and also using your body in different ways. Assault rifle. But it just seems like the entire thing, like. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. I see them in their like lap. Mm -hmm. We're gonna purchase some arms. Yeah. And uh, how are we gonna get them to work? We're gonna use some guitar strings. Like, there's gotta be a better scientific way to figure this out than being like, 
Hey, jo Joey, can you just uh, like undo it? Like, I, I too much, too much. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? And they just started using the tuner. I'm too. I know that I'm too critical on the morals of scientists, and I assume. I assume that they're kind of weird people in some cases. What is why they do what they do, but I just love the idea of like setting it up like, okay, so we've tied it up, but uh, did you make sure that it can get a really good grip? I want it to have a really good grip. Oh yeah. Okay, now get out. Oh John. <laughs> tighten I mean, it. Tighten it. Was it was weird enough. We didn't need to make Ooh, it any weirder. That's at least fifty-five percent more force and <sighs> speed. Anyway, nothing against the scientists. I, I like that they're doing this because it is important to understand how it was that humans were able to gain the advantage over Neanderthals and other sorts of primates and, mm -hmm. and things like that and get to where we are now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't consider this, uh, the fist is not uh, open and then shut on this one just yet, regardless of how tight you get that guitar tuner. Anyway, let us know what you think about this. Uh, what do you think was that gave uh, humans the advantage, perhaps in hand-to-hand -hand combat over their competitors of the time? Mm. Let us know down below. I'll see you next video.